Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I want to talk about NFTs. If you don't know what that stands for, and we are talking crypto right now, that stands for non-fungible token. This is going to be a game changer. It already is a game changer. Um, non-fungible tokens are starting to uh, pick up pace in lots of uh, fields, but especially the collectibles field. Uh, we have artists that are actually um, taking pieces of art, tying them onto the blockchain using an NFT. Uh, we are seeing it with baseball cards. There are all kinds of different industries are now starting to wake up and go, well, wait a minute now. We can custody, and I'll give you an example. We can custody a Michael Jordan 1987 rookie card, right? And we can hold it in a secure location, let people invest in that card, hoping that the value of the card is going to go up. Now, wait, before I get ahead of myself, I don't... I'm not telling you to run out there and buy NFTs that are based on Michael Jordan rookie cards, right? This isn't financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This is entertainment purposes only. But to give you an idea how this works, this company can custody this Michael Jordan uh, uh, basketball card, which are they're very rare anyway, right? They're worth a lot of money. And, um, and I'll, you know what? Let's do this. We're going to pop on really quick. Um, and I'm going to show you to give you an idea of what this is worth. And a little bit about my background is... Um, Sorry, I can't spell, talk and type, obviously, at the same time. Um, I've been an investor and an entrepreneur for well, well over 20 years, but I actually used to own a baseball card shop when I was a junior in high school. I actually had a storefront. I went and rented it from a local barbershop, a corner of a barbershop. I set up glass... Um, you know, glass uh, tables and actually, you know, display cases and I actually sold baseball cards. And um, one of the most coveted cards when I was younger was a uh, Fleer, uh, Michael Jordan. Now, the sad thing is when I was in high school, that that Jordan rookie card was worth about $600 to $800. Now you can see, and, and before when I owned a baseball card shop, um, uh, they didn't have these grading systems, right? And you s saw these companies just explode and the sport exploded because about, I don't know, 15, 20, well, 20, 25 years ago, these companies started getting together like PSA and they would put these cards in a slab and they would uh, grade them. And they would grade them based off of all kinds of things. The clarity of the, the color of the card, the, uh, the edges to make sure the card was in good condition, even the sizing of each side of the card, right? All of these things played in to the score, that rank that you see, a 9.5, a 10, right? Um, and there's all these different companies, right? So these companies became the authority. They literally said, look, we are going to acknowledge ourselves as the authority, the foremost authority on grading these collectibles, right? Now I'm getting to the NFT and how important this is. Well, back then, uh, when I had the baseball card shop, it was about $800 for this card. Now, here's one for $50,000. Here's one they're asking 189,000, right? Now, a lot of people say that this card is going to be a $1 million card because they're becoming not only rarer because they have been lost, destroyed, burnt in fires, you know, put into a, 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 a bicycle and you know make the cool sounds on a bicycle. But the facts are that there's only so many of them out in existence, but now there's only so many perfect ones. All right. Now I know a lot of you are going. Well, what what does this have to do with crypto? All right. Do you have fifty thousand dollars to put into a card? No, more than likely, right? But there's a lot of people that want to invest in the idea or the possibility that that card is going to go to a million dollars. So how does the NFT come in? This is how a company will uh, join forces or well with the blockchain and they will say, look, we are going to buy a gem mint card, right? And let's say we got a smoking deal at a quarter of a million dollars. We're going to attach this to an NFT and we are gonna sell that NFT, right? And people can actually buy that NFT or a portion of that NFT and invest it. And then eventually they could sell it because as the card goes up in value, the NFT now goes up in value because you've said you now own a piece of that uh, card, the ownership in that card. NFTs are going to become more and more valuable um, 
with real estate investing, all kinds of things. But right now we're starting with art. And uh, I want you to understand, I hope this is a good way of explaining this because um, you may not have one or two people that can go in halves and buy a $50,000 card, but you can get a thousand people that have X amount of dollars to buy that card, right? And yes, there's some carrying costs and storage cost insurance, you know, but that's what these companies are gonna start springing up everywhere. And they're gonna say, look, we are now the authority on storing and preserving that piece of art and um, that, uh, what's it called? Uh, that The NFT uh, being tied to it. And there's gonna be uh, benefits of it. Like you are literally, because you have the NFT, um, there is going to be a photo of that card that you're going to be able to display, let's say, on your, your large screen TV and say, I own a piece of this. And then there's going to be like a camera sitting on it in a vault somewhere. And it sounds crazy, but this this is people are going to want this. Um, their friends are going to come over and said, hey, I just bought uh, I just invested in a 1987 Jordan card. And you're like, what are you what are you talking about? And you go, well, here it is on the camera. And here is the shot that you can only get if you own this NFT. And it's literally in the vault right now and there's just a live feed onto this camera and it's actually secured by the blockchain and like that's my investment as it goes up in value as it's getting bidded up because we find out that more and more of these jordan rookie cards are going bye-bye these are being destroyed and there's just not that many 9.5s or 10s out on the market it's going up and up in value now, this is an absolute game changer and this is akin to how stocks explode in price because more and more people are buying up uh, little bits of the company because they're buying up a few shares at a time and then it turns into more and more. Um, and so now we're going to tie this into Theta. Sorry, I haven't even talked about Theta. Um, theta, so this was right on the, on, uh, Theta shared this with coin market cap because Theta has an NFT uh, set up, right? And they're just getting started. Coin market cap came out and says, are you a big NFT lover? Uh, well, now you can keep up to date and compare NFT token projects. And so right here, they want you to share. So if you guys are into Theta, this is your perfect opportunity to go ahead and share the Theta program because there's a lot of people, even though Theta is on the top market cap, there's a lot of people that don't understand that Theta is involved in and has, you have the ability to uh, pr make your own NFT tokens, non-fungible tokens. So um, this is yet one more way that Theta is bringing insane value to the project and to your investment. So I wanted to share that with you. Uh, if you like this, if you understand it, um, click the like button for me. If you don't understand it, definitely put a question below. I'll try to get to all your questions. And in the meantime, I hope you guys have a great day. The Ninja is out.